guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are in step three, I believe, for our full face makeup tutorial. I am breaking down each step. Um, and right now, um, I'm going to do something that I know sometimes I don't do, sometimes I do it. Um, and the, the reason why I'm going to do it this way is because if you're not familiar with putting on eyeshadow, um, I do recommend this way of applying your eyeshadow. Now, when it comes to eyeshadow today, the today's whole look and the whole look that I'm going for for this whole tutorial is a more everyday natural eye. I'm going to be using my Naked Smoky Eye Palette and I may even dip into my Huda Beauty Warm Browns Obsession. Um, so to get all the brush, um, while I'm getting my brushes ready, I'm going to explain why I am doing that before foundation. Um, now, sometimes when you are putting on eye makeup, you can, sometimes you have some fallout, or as it has happened to me, there have been times where I think I know what I'm doing, or maybe I'm using eye, this that particular eyeshadow for the first time, um, and it doesn't come out well. So let's say I want to take it off. Instead of taking it off and having to mess up my foundation and applying it again and wasting more product, I would just have to uh, take off the shadow and I won't have to take anything else off. Um, it's it's up to you. You could put your foundation on first. Um, if you feel comfortable enough doing your eyeshadow. Or if you know that particular palette that you're using doesn't have a lot of fallout. Um, I think we have enough brushes. I recommend you also having as many brushes as possible because you never know what kind of blending you're going to need or what kind of application. I do have a new brush um, from one of my Ipsy offers that I'm going to be using today, the Vasanti brush. Very pretty. This one is a blending brush, but I like this one because it's long and tapered. Um, actually, this may be the skinniest brush I have, and I like that a lot. I like that. It's very pretty. Perfect. Just what I needed. All right, so we are going to do a smoky eye, if you will. So when doing um, eyeshadow, you want to prime your lids, which you can use any kind of primer or you can use um, concealer. I did try the Bye Bye Under, Under Eye, uh, but it is very, very thick. So I'm not going to use that for my primer for my eyeshadow. Um, I didn't have a problem with it. I just thought it was too thick. I'm going to be using Kat Von D's Lock It Concealer Cream. And I'm just going to put a dab right here. So a couple of dabs. Let's take a concealer brush. I might need more. I might not. I have no idea yet. It's always better to put less than more. And this is the part where I was talking about in the eyeshadow video. I mean, I'm sorry, in the eyebrow video that... This is where, this is the part where if you mess up on your eyebrows, you can fix them. So now I have a nice crisp edge for my eyeshadow and my eyebrow.
This is not my normal brush I use. I don't know why I picked it out. Where's my angle brush? I feel like I'm missing brushes. And that feels weird because nobody touches my brushes but me. <laughs> So now I have a nice, nice crisp line. And I am primed for eyeshadow. Now, why would you prime for eyeshadow? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> So sometimes it's better for the um, when you have when you're putting on powder on your eyes. If you have oily skin, or if you have um, maybe sometimes your your skin, the oil from your skin mixes with the eyeshadow itself, and maybe it'll wear off during the day, or maybe it won't blend as nicely as you want. The Primer or concealer, whichever you use, gives your eyelids the perfect base for mixing eyeshadows. Do you need to do it? It's your preference. If you want your makeup to stay on all day with no issues, I would highly recommend it. Okay, so I am all prepped. It is a little tacky, so you can either wait for it to uh, dry or you can take, I'm going to take a little rounded brush. I take my Bye Bye Pores press powder. Oh my goodness. So I would take my Bye Bye Pores press powder. Just give it a little dab, nothing, nothing too much, and just go right over it. And now we have a great base for eyeshadow. So now, when it comes to doing a natural eye, you definitely want to start from the lighter and then work your way up in your transition color. So we are going to take a small taper blending brush, and we're gonna. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay uh, Smoky Eye. This is the brush it comes with. Which this one's not a bad brush. We might use this one next. And I'm going to use, a, what color was that? I'm sorry. I'm going to be using Combust, which is a kind of like a skin color. And we're going to be putting that, tap out the excess. You can tap it out as you can see all that excess or hit it with your nail. You definitely want to tap out the excess because if you don't, then all that excess might fall onto your cheek area. So this is a good, nice color. And it blends in with my skin and the concealer. You may say like, oh, it doesn't look like you put anything on there. At first it will not. But as you're quickly building it up, you will see the difference.
Okay. So most of these are glitter. I didn't realize that. Um, I'm going to stick with mattes for the transition color. So we're going to we're going to come back to this palette. Um, I do have Does it say what the colors are? Where did the box for this? Hmm. I'm not sure what uh what the colors are, but we're going to dip into this. This is the lightest brown in the palette, which the reason why I'm going with a more natural brown tone is because most palettes do have um a lot of neutral colors. So I figured I'd pick a color that um maybe everybody would have. I also have my chocolate chip palette we can also work with, which has a lot of browns in it. Um, but right now we're going to go with the Huda Beauty. This is the warm brown. And we're going to go with this brown right here, which is the lightest brown in there that has color. So I use the same brush, but you can see the color difference. Like that, that brown is on there. So I'm going to take it and I'm only, instead of the last time where I'm putting it all over, I'm going to be focusing this color only on my crease and up, and I'm bring that color up into my upper brow bone. But not all the way to my eyebrows, just bringing it up that it blends up well. And I'll be using this one in my crease. You see where I'm holding the brush? I'm hold I'm not holding it all the way over here where I'm packing it on. I'm giving it more of a kind of like a pencil flow. Kind of go back and forth like a wiper blade. And this is going to be our all over transition color. So we're building it up little by little. Same thing on this side. Bring it up, not too far. You still want to leave room under your brow bone for a highlight. Mm-hmm. Focusing it more on the creases. Blending is everything. So now we have a nice brown base. Uh, we could go into like this terracotta looking color, but I'm afraid it might bring a little bit too orange into it. And I'm not, I wasn't looking to go for a colorful eye. So I'm going to go, what color is this? Matte Hazelnut, which is definitely darker. And I'm going to switch up my brush for a more tapered pointed end so I can really get into the crease of my eye. So... As you're adding more and more color, you're going to be focusing it less and less instead of spreading it all over. So when you're starting with the um, lighter colors, you're blending it all over. Then you're you, you're going with your first uh, first light transition color where you focus it on the upper brow bone into your crease and slightly on the lid, but you're not really going on the lid. 
And then you're taking your first dark transition color and you're bringing that on like solely into your crease. So when you blend it out, it's going to be blended out um, not too high, whereas you can still see that color. Oh, I love this brush. So now we have some depth there. It still needs to be blended, but we have that depth. As you can see, the difference between the two eyes. And that was only one dip into the pan and really not even blended yet. So we're just gonna do one more dip, not so much. Really get that in there. Yes, now we still have to blend it. It's gonna look a little patchy until I have it all blended out. Right now, I'm just taking this brush to apply it. because it's got the nice pointed end that I really want to use to get into the crease. Again, I'm holding the brush like very loose in my hand. I'm not holding it very tight. I'm giving the brush a lot of wiggle room. Okay, so now you can take, I have an Urban Decay. Um, it's kind of like this flat blending brush and I'm just going to blend all of this in. And now the lines uh, look way better. They're not as harsh. That's actually a shadow being casted. I do apologize. I'm gonna shade that up. Just blend that up, make sure there's no harsh lines. Yes. Now, I am going to take one more dark color. Like, we're gonna go back with the naked and we're gonna go in with this flat brown and it's called Whiskey. And you see these, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it with this. This is a pretty dense, so I, I don't wanna, it's not that I don't wanna pack the color on, I just want it precise. So I'm going to dip it a few times, just not too heavy. I'm gonna tap this baby out, cause I don't want a lot. And I'm gonna go right in my crease. But I'm not bringing it all the way. Now this last dark color, which I may have to, actually this one's not really doing it for me. I'm gonna take my small angle brush and see if this works better. I'm taking this color and I'm using it to kinda define my corners. So I'm not really necessarily bringing that color I'm kind of like doing a V if you would, and then I'll bring it all the way in. So that way it's more darker on the corner and then I'm blending it a few times here. So I'm focusing more on the corner and then I'm kind of like doing a V 
shape where I'm doing crease and then on the line because we're going to cover that again. So now we've got that really dark color. We're going to go back with that Urban Decay blender and we're going to make sure that there's no harsh lines. So there we have a lot of brown, nice and blended, where the creases are defined more. Uh, and now we want to add a little pop of shimmer to our lids. So I'm going to use a flat. I'm going to go dry first. I'm going to see how this palette performs dry. And I'm going to go in with the brownish copper kind of gold. And it's called Dirty Sweet. And I'm using it dry first. That's a pretty nice shimmer. There's a kind of like a rosy chrome right next to it. I'm going to flip my brush off, um, flip my brush over and get the other flat side with this chromish color. And I want to see what it looks like if I put it on top. It might be better if, let me just try it, because if I don't, it's going to bother me that I didn't try. Let me wet my brush. So I wet the eyebrow. Eyebrow. <laughs> oh, I wet the brush. And I'm just going to see if wetting it makes a big difference. So I'm patting it. So I really want to get that shimmer in there. Well, I think wetting it definitely brings out more shimmer. And I think it looks really nice with the subtleness of the more natural eye. This definitely looks very easy. It looks like a smoky eye that you can wear all day um, where it's not so dramatic where you feel like you need to be wearing a dress with it. You want to blend it in as much as you can. I always say, if your wrists don't hurt by the time you're done with your eyes, you haven't blended enough. Camera's not really picking up the sparkle. It's not like a, oh my God, kind of sparkle. You can always um, add uh, a little bit more sparkle to it. You could um, take liquid uh, eyeshadow and put it on top just to give it that really nice pop if you want to sparkle. Um, I'm going to take some of this off-white from the Huda palette to highlight my brow bone.
Now, after I put on my foundation, I will probably do a line under here where I'm bringing that brown under my eyes. Um, but we will show you that. I'll show you that step when we get there. So I have my highlighter, my brow bone highlighted. And I have it all on there. Okay. I like the way this looks. I think it's time to continue to our next step. So stay tuned uh, for our next step, which is going to be foundation. All right. Thank you.